So a couple of slices of this on anyone's plate is going to make them happy. Smoky, tasty, moist. What more do you want in a meatloaf? Mm. I'm Chewy and in this video I'm going to show you how to smoke the tastiest meatloaf. Like all my videos, check out the description for a full list of the... Oh, shut up, bird! So, just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be using my Zed Grill 700 pellet smoker, and I want to be smoking this meatloaf at 120 degrees Celsius. So, I'll get it pre-warmed now, so we're not waiting around once the meatloaf is ready. It's easy enough to do, we'll just turn it to the smoke setting. Oh no, it's on fire! No, that's normal. That's the smoke setting. Calm down. So once the smoke settles and we can hear the flames, we can close the lid and we can just turn the dial to our desired heat temp. I'm using a blend of cherry, pecan and Australian hardwood pellets for today's cook. Meatloaf can have a tendency to dry out. So by whisking together some eggs and adding some milk, we can soak some panko breadcrumbs in this mixture for about five minutes. Trust me, by soaking the breadcrumbs first, it makes a huge difference. Meatloaf is one of the great comfort foods, and once you learn how to cook it properly, I guarantee you'll have it on high rotation in your home. We need to start off with some fatty mince. And to this, we're gonna add some diced bacon and onion that have been cooked, some chopped garlic, or uh, with Cestershire sauce I always get that wrong now obviously I meant to say Worcestershire but it didn't come out properly some tomato paste dried parsley dried thyme kosher salt and our panko crumb egg and milk mixture now mix this up but do not overwork it or you're gonna end up with a hard and dense meatloaf is it too early to go like this video I don't think so. Once the meatloaf is all mixed, we can add it to a board and we can get it into the shape that we want to cook it. And once you're happy with the shape you've got, I like to transfer mine to a wire rack because that way the smoky flavor has more surface area to get into. Once on the tray, you can add your favorite barbecue seasoning. Don't be shy. And using the old cup your hand and bounce the seasoning up against the sides. Today, I'm using Lane's Brisket, Tunami and SPF 53 Combo Rub, but you can use whatever you want. As our smoker is already pre-warmed and ready to go, we can just put the meatloaf straight in on that bottom shelf, and I'm gonna insert an internal temp probe. And we're gonna track the internal temp of this meatloaf to 74 degrees Celsius, as that is the safe eating temp of minced meat. No one wants barley belly from your meatloaf, so make sure you cook it properly. We're gonna be sourcing this meatloaf for the last Last half of the cook so let's make up a nice easy basting sauce so into a saucepan we can add some ketchup some maple syrup some apple cider vinegar and brown sugar and we'll stir this over a low heat until the sugar has dissolved and it's all thickened up a little bit it'll take about five minutes if you didn't know Shuey's barbecue has a Facebook page and an Instagram account Go join them and say hi. Today I'm smoking with an indirect heat of 120 degrees Celsius. And all up, this cook's going to take around about five hours. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a 10 beer cook. Now you don't have to use my beer timer if you don't want to. I've just found that other drinks aren't as accurate. The meatloaf has been smoking away for two hours now and internally it is at 55 degrees Celsius. So using some heat proof gloves, just grab the rack with the meatloaf on it. And just to make it easier, we're gonna bring it out of the smoker so we can baste it. By having it out of the smoker, it just allows us to get all of the sides. This job can be done one handed, just so you know. So pop it back into the smoker and we'll just keep glazing it every 30 minutes now until it's ready. Basting session number two. Just remember, while you're cooking, keep yourself hydrated. Basting session number three. If taking your meatloaf out of the smoker like me, be quick. Work quick, you don't want the temp dropping. So get it out, baste it, whack it back in. Basting session number four. That'll do it for the basting now. I'm just gonna let it ride out until it hits 74 degrees Celsius internally. The meatloaf has finally reached an internal temp of 74 degrees Celsius. So we can get it out of the smoker now and we'll let it rest for 10 minutes. That 10 minutes may seem like an hour because this smells amazing. Use these 10 minutes to prep for the next step, like grabbing a new drink. Meatloaf is such a comfort food and pairs well with pretty much any side dish. So a couple of slices of this on anyone's plate is gonna make them happy. You know I say it every week, this is that good, it should be illegal. 
Mm. As always, cheers for watching.